Hello everyone. Uh, this is a short video introducing the updated version of the OCR extension. Uh, I am promoting it uh, from a gist to an enhancement, mostly because uh, now you can recognize the uh, text of any image. So previously you needed to upload the image into ROM and because of course issue we couldn't recognize uh, other images so now that's solved and you can use it for for example area highlights uh, extracted using the pdf extension pdf highlighter extension and also the free ocr engine that uh, i use is slow and previously you needed to wait and don't do anything until the text is extracted but now, because we have the uh, right API for Rome, uh, you can just start the OCR and uh, modify any other block and continue working. And, uh, and the final output of the OCR engine will get printed uh, into the corresponding block. And uh, also, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a Mathbix account. So just a quick recap of uh, the functionalities of this extension. So we have uh, support for two languages and um, language one is activated by shift click. Language two is activated by alt click. For example, we can have combination of languages. So here I'm saying that I'm interested in uh, mixed uh, language, so Arabic and English, for example. And uh, the third functionality is related to MathBix. MathBix is an OCR engine, uh, which is very fast, and it can extract uh, mathematical equations and formulas from images and handwritten texts. Uh, for that, you need an app ID, an app key, and previously, it was free to use MathPeaks for up to, I think, 1,000 or something uh, queries. But now it's not free. You need to pay uh, $0.004 for each query. So uh, it's worth it. It's very accurate if you're using lots of equations. And uh, you need a reliable solution. I think MathPeaks is a good uh, choice. So I'm going to show you how to set up a MathFix account and how to get an app ID and app key. Uh, finally, we had two other options. So one is for uh, cleaning up. Whenever you run the OCR on an image, you get the extracted text as a child block. And if you only want to keep the text, you can use this shortcut to remove the image and replace it with the text. And uh, the other option is save reference to image, which means that if you uh, replace the image with uh, the text using this shortcut, you want to keep a link to the original image for your reference. So you can set this to true. Uh, yeah, so these are uh, the only options that you have. So two languages using a free engine, which again, it's slow, but it so supports many languages. And MathFix is very fast for math and formula and English text, but it doesn't support other languages. Okay, so a few examples. Uh, first, a regular image, which is uploaded. Uh, into room so I use shift click and uh, it generates a child block and I can do my work and wait and this is the extract the text so if I use for example mathfix shortcut which is control click so for mathfix uh, you need to use control plus click uh, it's much faster and more accurate. So this one 
is just what vertical line but mathpix understands that this is uh, i okay so uh, so the next example is a mixed language example both english and arabic and uh it's from imager so the course header is uh, set correctly and uh you can try alt click and it generates this block you can continue typing in other blocks and wait so again this is a re-engine and in general a mixed language should take longer okay and uh, next example is from a general source so this is just random image from around the web i'm going to use again alt click and it generates a child block and so while uh, we're waiting i'm going to show you the other example so I have a PDF over here and I'm going to use the highlighter extension to extract let's say mathematical formula so let's find an easy one and zoom in to use the area highlighter and add a highlight so i'm going to close this pdf and this is my extracted image i use mathfix by control click and you see that it's very accurate so it correctly extracted the whole formula okay now let's go back to uh, the arabic example and you see that it's done yeah so that's it basically you can uh, use this on any image and more specifically on extracted uh, area highlights from the pdf highlighter extension okay and then i wanted to talk about mathbix account so you go to mathbix.com slash ocr and you see this page and it describes functionalities of this great service and this is different plans monthly pay as you go and enterprise version for processing pdf so currently the ocr version does not support processing pdf and it's very expensive in general and processing images as i said if you have less than uh 10, 000 queries per month each one of them is going to cost you uh, this amount and if you spend all of the 10,000 it's going to be uh, $40 per month and you can click on this get this started and then create a user and password I already have user and password so enter my credentials log in and you see that uh, I have this left panel you need to go to OCR API organization and then you create a key so I already have two keys and you can enable each one of them so there's a rate limit you're fine 200 uh, queries per minute it's more than enough and you have an app key and app ID so these are the two things that you need to uh, paste into the parameters of the OCR extension. So show the, you just click on the show API key and copy mm, that the string and also copy the app ID. And you can also take a look at your usage. So how many queries you have used in the past month and uh, more interestingly you can take a look at the results so these are all images that i've ocr and these are extracted text and these are past 
uh, messages. And this is the confidence. And in this way, you can find uh, your previous OCR queries and extract the texts if need be. Mm, yeah, that's it. Thanks.